Hello everyone and welcome back. This is game number two of the match between Cotter 3000 and Scotty. Scotty shows the map this time. It's Sakura Ridge, another map that we haven't seen in the tournament yet, and he brings an army that's perfectly set up for this map. It's got a uh, Yari Ashigaru and Naginata Monk, the rest are swords, six of them looks, and a ton of cavalry. This map really lends itself to just rushing the hill and pushing down it. Both sides are just going to be running up the hill. This battle will be short and sweet. You definitely have to be careful on this map to not be caught on the wrong side of the hill, so both sides are rushing up with their cavalry, but I don't think Cotter has enough here. Scotty just brought so much, and it looks like they're mostly Yari cavalry as well. Actually, it's about half and half, it seems. So, but actually, Scotty's pulling back here. I think he can easily win this cavalry engagement. I think he really needs to be pushing it, too. Sending a Yari cavalry in to just try and rough up the cavalry a little bit, even just one or two units to distract him and kill as many cavalry units as he can. Cotter 3000 leaving a light cavalry back. While the infantry runs up the hill, both sides running up the hill. Like I said, this one will be short and sweet. Sadly, the light cavalry seems to have dismounted, so he's running right into dismounted spears, which may not be very good for Scotty, but pulling out now a little bit. Actually, this is good. With this one cavalry unit here, he can maybe get Cotter to clump up a little bit, which would leave them very vulnerable to a big cavalry or even an infantry charge. But trying to get his cavalry around the rear to get a big flank in, exactly what you should try and do in this map. Infantry's repositioning here along the right side. Kind of interesting. Way over here on the extreme right, trying to maybe use these trees a little bit. Or maybe it's just to give his cavalry more space to work with, trying to pull Cotter over to the left side of the ridge here, so his cavalry will be able to come in and hit him from behind. But ooh, actually, Scotty's cavalry's been hurt pretty bad. I already cavalry's down to half strength. The Great Guard here is dismounted, really just trying to deal with this cavalry threat by dismounting and where they're a little bit of, a, of an advantage. Actually, Yari Samurai running up into the Yari Ashigaru, who are not in spear wall, so not going to get the better of that. But Naginata Monks are coming up to support him. Scotty's spreading out kind of wide here. Interesting to see. Let's try and get a smart engagement here. Both sides are being a little more patient than I expect them to be on a map like this, but really trying to get a good engagement off here. Two Katana Samurai are running up to start the melee engagement. Some more cavalry moving out here by Scotty. Again, a light cavalry is sitting over here. Maybe meant to capture the building, but not going to have enough time. Katana Samurai are going to flank for a little shock troop action there from the swords. But Warrior Monks are pulling back in. This map with both sides rushing here like that, but Warrior Monks will not be that useful. Going to get tied down by the Great Guard. This other Great Guard is going to be running around. Ooh, he get a huge juicy charge right into the back of those Katanas. But no, he's going to send it towards the Light Cavalry. I don't think that's a good choice. The Katana Samurai will be able to beat this Light Cavalry, no problem. I mean, look how open he is right here. So vulnerable. Could have routed those two units with a big charge. But Sadly decides to go for the Light Cavalry. I don't agree with that decision. There goes one of his Yari Cavalry are gone. Cotter has a few more forces over here trying to rejoin the fight. And actually, it's hard to say he's going to win the melee fight here in the infantry. This guy doesn't seem to have enough room to really move his cavalry around, so they're dismounted. We'll be joining the fight. They are Katana cavalry, though, so they're basically dismounted. Uh, actually, when you dismount them, they're pretty much Katana Samurai, so they will do pretty well here in this melee fight, despite having no horses. And here comes the Great Guard after routing the Light Cavalry. Ooh, he's going to run out of time if he's not getting out of Monks to get up there. He's not moving fast enough. He's got to get him into the melee fight. The one of the Katanas is already broken. That charge will surely break the other one. And Cotter's line is starting to waver a little bit. As Scotty's... Oh, but he's going to get a Cavalry charge in here. There's some wavering and bam, one of Scotty's units is gone, so he managed to swing the battle a little more in his favor that way, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Big charge there from the Great Guard is going to route this whole flank, and that means these three Katana units are going to pour in here and we'll be able to finish this fight or with the Wavering already there. The Katana's moving into the rear will probably seal the deal, and it looks like Sky is going to put up a nice 2-0 performance and move on in the loser's bracket to round three. There it goes. Look at that. Mass route. All the units are gone but one simultaneously. Just one Yari Cavalry left. And there you have it. Sky takes Series 2-0. See you back on the main menu. Well, who says you have to have a flat map to do a rush army, because that was a great army composition for that sort of map. When there's that big hill in the middle, both sides just rush for it right away, and the big sword component and cavalry like that, I mean, that's the kind of composition you want to bring, and Scotty made him pay. Uh, I think, actually, Nodachi is really great on that map, too, for the same reason that it's just rushing, and uh, you can get big charges off, especially if you catch him on the wrong side of that hill, so I think I would have brought some Nodachis in that composition, but ended up working out, especially because he was a little more careful, um, and wait a little bit, shift it around to get a good engagement angle. And the Katana Samurai really were worth their salt in that one.
and of course the cavalry. I mean, so much cavalry. I think if he actually would have just thrown his cavalry straight at um, Cotter 3000 in that battle, he could have just done so much damage with the huge cavalry. It was like, what, 10 units? Could have done so much damage there uh, that the infantry could have probably cleaned up, but was a little more careful than that. That's good to see, so. Um, what else can I say? A quick 2 0 there by Scotty 3000. Sadly, er, Scotty, not Cotter 3000. Unfortunately for him, as he was a substitute for somebody who already lost in the first round, he only gets one shot instead of the usual two, so the sad day is that's the first person to be eliminated from the tournament, but congratulations, Scotty, for moving on. We can at least be happy for him. It's not all sad today because someone just got a second chance at life. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next match.